quit smiling and I'll leave behind. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Oh my god, I'm so sorry that I have not been consistent with my YouTube uploads. There's been a lot of things going on behind the scenes that I can't show with you guys yet, but it's all good things that are happening behind the scenes. And um, yeah, I'm just like counting down the days on what I can finally share with you guys because yeah, it's a very big life transition that's gonna happen and hopefully you guys will join me on my new journey. So so today's video is gonna be a good old testing out some brand new makeup. I got Fenty Beauty new body source, which I cannot wait to try this out. I got the new e.l.f. camo foundation as well, along with some new e.l.f. lipsticks. These are so cute, it's got a little heart in there. And we also got some new NARS blusher. And I also have the ColourPop Times Bambi makeup collection, which is so exciting. So yeah, let's dive in. So the first thing I'm gonna try out is this product right here because I'm dying to try this out. So this is a body luminizing tint. I've seen a few tutorials on the Fenty Beauty page on how to use this. It seems very easy. It doesn't seem hard. It seems like it blends really well into the skin. It doesn't look patchy either, which is a good thing. You do need some sort of brush. I would personally recommend a brush like this, something that's flat. So I'm gonna use the shade number three, a Gabe Spice. I can say so, I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna go in with three pumps just to see how it goes. Okay, wow. This is the type of color that I do naturally get when I go on a really hot holiday to like the Philippines or something. I mean, it was a bit shocking when I first put it on because I didn't expect it to come out so rich and deep. But after blending it, it seems like it's okay. I love how it's not patchy. I love how it's got a very gentle light scent as well. It does look really nice and beautiful. Wow, I think I actually like it. First impression was a bit, but now that it's on my skin, I do like it, but I would love to hear your guys' opinion. Wow, this is so cute. So what you do is that when you put this on and you apply it, you gotta wait at least two to three minutes for it to dry, and then you can go ahead and put your clothes on. I would wait five minutes just in case, but I'm gonna leave it on and I'm gonna get a white tissue paper and see if it like transfers or anything. Okay, so it's been about five minutes now, I've got myself some tissue. Wow, okay, not bad at all. I am not mad. I don't know if you can tell with a tissue. There's a tinge, so if you are gonna wear light colors, be very, very careful. I really like it. Nathan also liked it as well. I asked his opinion if he liked the color and it didn't come across offensive. He said that it looks fine. So yeah, I, I would love to hear your guys' opinions and um, I'm just gonna do the other side of my body so I look even. Oh my God. Okay, now that I've got the whole thing on my body this is so sexy like look at my clavicles they look so glowy I feel like I just came back from holiday and no one knew moving on we are now gonna try the new elf foundation this is the camo CC cream it's got collagen peptides and niacinamide in it which is amazing I feel like elf has really gone super hard the past like few years with their makeup like their makeup products are just I don't know they're just so high quality now and it's all affordable as well so this is how the product looks it comes in a nice little squeezy bottle as well. Oh my god, this is gonna come out as the worst makeup tutorial I've ever done on the internet. It's okay, it's okay. I've got bronzer and we can sort that out. <laughs> Let's just judge the foundation. So far, it feels really nice and lightweight. It's got coverage for a CC cream because usually CC creams are really, really light. Oh my god, I look ridiculous right now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't even know if I want to continue doing this thing. Makeup routine! <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> the reason why I'm using this brush, this flat uh, foundation brush, is because I find these types of foundation brushes works really well at blending creamy foundations. So this is how um, my skin looks before and this is after. So it did cover some of my imperfections and it did leave a really nice light glow onto my skin as well, which is so nice. I love it when foundations make my skin look healthy rather than dry and crusty because no one wants to look like that. I really really like this. Okay, I'm gonna like quickly 
do the rest of my base makeup because I look crazy. So I just put on some Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. I felt like this product would work so well with the e.l.f. CC Camo Foundation because they're both creamy products and so far it's blending so well together like no patchiness, no nothing. The foundation didn't budge or anything and I feel like my skin just looks so nice and healthy and glowy which I really like and I'm really shook at how much this foundation managed to hide my imperfections. I did go in with a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes because uh, oh my god, the darkness underneath my eyes is just getting darker and darker by day. I still feel like my face doesn't match my body, hands down. You guys are probably gonna judge me and be like, what the hell, Ling? I know, I'm with you guys as well. I look like trash, kind of. But it's okay, because this video is all about testing out makeup. It's not actually a makeup tutorial, so. <laughs> I'm just like gonna try my best to use this bronzer and just lightly try and match it with my neck and clavicles. So far, both products work like a gem. Next product, we're gonna go in with some NARS blusher. They sent me so many blushes that I am actually gonna do a giveaway on my Instagram very, very soon. So I can't wait to do that. I love giving away like brand new makeup to you guys, especially when I give away makeup that I love and I know you guys will love it as well. Oh yeah, this one's a little bit brighter and this one's a little bit deeper. So this is in the shade Darling and this is in the shade Freedom. I really like the shade Freedom. I feel like this is my type of blusher shade. Honestly, NARS is the king when it comes to base makeup, foundation, concealers, primers, blushes. They are just amazing at what they do. I love the variety of shades as well. We got this shade right here, which is like kind of like a... I want to say like a, kind of reminds me of latte. I don't know why. And then we've got this beautiful deep berry color as well. This is called Scandalous. And this one is called Gasp. I just love the variety of colors that Nas have made with their blusher collection. And then this one reminds me of Runway Fashion Makeup. Look at that. Oh my God, I love this. This is called Torch. And I feel like this will look beautiful on the eyes, lips, and on the cheeks as well. So I am going to keep this for myself, I'm gonna lie. <laughs> I wanna try this type of blusher shade. I think I might try two, because I like to layer on my blushes and try different tones of blusher. I sometimes find that mixing blushes can really help make my whole face look together. So I'm gonna try the shade Gasp, and then I'm gonna try Freedom and Gasp. I feel like those two shades are gonna work really well for me. This is what Gasp looks like. Ooh, okay. Very creamy, and when you blend it out, it blends out really nicely. It's not super pigmented as well, which is really good. I find that the best blushes are the ones that are not so pigmented because you can layer it on and you can determine how much blusher you want to put on. All right, I'm gonna use a flat foundation brush. Who is she? I know, I'm trying out new things today. I'm gonna put a little bit on the highest points of my cheeks with this shade. And then with the other shade, I'm gonna put it more on the center of my face. Oh, that is really nice. It's not like super in your face type of blusher, which to me is great. And it's so creamy and lightweight, I love it. And when you press your finger into it or when you put your brush into it, it kind of has that moussey texture, which I really like. Is it just me or does the Fenty body sauce looks like it's going a bit warmer? Now I'm going into Freedom. Oh, that's really nice and peachy. I like that. That is really nice. Oh my god, mixing Freedom and Gasp together with this, you know, Fenty bronzer is looking really nice together. And then with a angled brush, just fluffing it out. That way it looks more blended. So there's no harsh lines. Oh, I really like that. That touch of blush. Ooh. Next up, we have the adorable ColourPop Times Bambi makeup collection. Okay, first off, ColourPop. Thank you so much for sending me this collection and also can you slow down on your releases because I can't I, ca I can't keep up It's just too much. But um, yeah, other than that, this is a very adorable collection I'm gonna open everything up. So we got flower. So we got a little mini eyeshadow powder in here Oh my god, it's so cute. This is a pretty purple collection. This is a shimmer uh, Shimmery white eyeshadow, but it's got hints of like lilacs in there. It's really nice I'm not gonna swatch it because I might put this in a giveaway. It's so adorable. 
this eyeshadow palette. I do love purple eyeshadow. I feel like purple eyeshadow on brown eyes just looks amazing. Next, we got the Bambi eyeshadow palette. So cute. Got the neutral tones with the warm yellow in there as well. So cute. Bumper. Hey, boo. <laughs> I actually have a bumper hot water bottle. Oh. I surprisingly like this. This is really cute. This is like a fresh, cool tone type of eyeshadow palette. I really like it. Now, I think you guys are guessing which palette I'm going to try. Yes, it's the Bambi one because I'm a neutral hoe. What'd you expect? <laughs> so the first color I'm gonna try is, I think I'm gonna mix this one right here. This is called Little April Shower and I'm gonna mix it with Young Prince. That way it can lighten Young Prince. So I'm just gonna dip it in like this. Oh, it's a bit of fallout, but I personally don't find that an issue. Um, and I'm just gonna put that into my crease. I'm not sure what type of eyeshadow look I'm gonna go for, because I always improvise the looks that I do whenever I do makeup review videos. I really like ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I feel like their eyeshadow is so creamy and easy to work with, and there doesn't seem to be an issue. This color does remind me of Bambi, it really does. And I'm just going in with Little April Shower, just to like lighten it up a little bit. Next color I'm gonna dip into is Kinda Bashful. I'm just gonna go in twice, because this eyeshadow palette is quite pigmented. And I'm just gonna apply this to deepen my crease. Wow, that is a really nice brown eyeshadow. To be totally honest with you guys, I have nothing to complain about. This eyeshadow is working for me, the foundation worked for me, the blusher worked for me. Everything is going super smooth um, with this review video, which is great. I'm just gonna get a flat brush and dip into the Feline, Feline? What the hell? How do you say this word? Far line? Okay, gonna dip into that shade. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. This literally took me by surprise. And also my eyeshadow brush isn't wet either. So what you see is literally what you get. I do wish it was a little bit more shimmery though, like more glitter chunks in there. Cause I feel like Bambi, such a pretty character. Quite, quite glamorous looking dear if you ask me. It'd be nicer and a little bit more shimmer, but it is this beautiful gold though, so I'm not gonna complain too much. It's so pigmented, I'm actually able to do a cut crease, which is good. And then I'm gonna use this little tiny brush that I got from Morphe, and I'm gonna dip into White Tail, interesting word. Now this brown shade, it's got little bits of like gold shimmer in there, which you can't tell, which is so annoying, but it's got tiny bits of good, but it's more matte and it's like they just added like a dust of glitter into this eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna like darken my lash line. I really love this Morphe brush because I can really get right into my lash line. And then when I get towards the end of my eye, I'm doing like a very light eyeliner. So it's not like a harsh eyeliner, it's just like very faint. For mascara, I'm going to try the Lancome Mascara. This is the Lash Idol Mascara. Miss Zendaya is the face of it, which makes me very happy because I love Zendaya. I've been loving putting on mascara recently. I think it's because my lashes are growing. I bought a lash serum and Within a week, I've seen such a big difference within my lashes. I use Eye Glow and it's so expensive and I was so hesitant to buy it because I was just like, oh my God, I'm about to spend 55 pounds on a lash serum. Like I'd rather spend 55 pounds on like other stuff, but I thought to myself, you know, I've always wanted nice, long, healthy lashes. And I thought, let me just try it out. And it's actually working within a week. Genetically, because I'm Asian, my lashes, they go downwards. They don't curl whenever I put mascara on. So I do need to use a lash curler. And yes, sometimes I do put mascara on first and then curl my lashes. I also sometimes do it before as well. And then with the leftover shadow on this brush, I'm just gonna lightly blend out my lower lash line. And then going in with my Fenty bronzer, I'm just going to contour my nose very lightly and connect it to my eyeshadow. We also have eyeliners from the Bambi collection. However, I don't want to use it because I want to put it in a giveaway, but I will show you guys. So 
these are the colors super cute we got a nice purple shade we got a white as well which is a necessity because it is bambi cute little white dots and we also have a lighter purple shade as well and they're all shimmery which is cute and different as well this is definitely an adorable makeup collection for someone who loves Bambi the movie but also someone who loves Disney and for the young generation as well I think it's really sweet to have a proper makeup company make adorable makeup sets for really young people and young children as well because I would rather get a collection like this from Colourpop then, you know, go on Argos and buy them cheap makeup collections, you know? Right, we also have this as well. Again, I'm not gonna try this because I wanna keep it clean and new because I wanna put this in a giveaway. This is a Pixie Puff highlighter. And the reason why I don't wanna use it is because I wanna like keep things safe and clean and sanitized for you guys when I do put this in a giveaway. But it's super adorable and the packaging is just insane. It's so cute. And lastly, to finish off the look the lips so i got the new elf hydrating court lip shine oh love elf and also i love how they minimalize their packaging as well not none of this lots of wrapping around the lipstick it's just right here hang it up and there's only one little like sticker to keep the lid on the lipstick so i really like that so this is how the product looks it's so adorable look at that it's so cute i love how there's a little heart in there as well it reminds me of like korean style type of makeup and i love that i'm gonna put this on mm. oh my god you're joking i'm having like a proper nostalgic moment right now <laughs> i'm like that's me going back in time and coming back forward now uh this smell oh my god it literally reminds me of like watermelon lip balms that i used to get when i was a kid from like claire's oh my god it's amazing i love it oh my god yes elf mm, i feel like the 90s are coming back in the early 2000s you know they're those type of like makeup styles and looks and the fashion as well it's all coming back i mean i don't know if you guys know this but my hair's up in a clip because i am living for it and also I find that this hairstyle is just so easy to do in the morning and it goes with a lot of my makeup looks as well It feels amazing and also I suffer from extremely dry lips So it's really important that the lip balms that I have actually work and this works straight away And I love how there's a tint of color in there as well I did put lip liner on before I applied the elf lip balm and I use Charlotte Tilbury hot gossip lip liner This is my favorite lip liner. It's my go-to from Charlotte Tilbury and I just love how this whole makeup look came out in the end and oh my god, I was really worried at first that it wouldn't come out super cute, but I'm living for it. I like it. And I don't know. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm just like happy with it. You know? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I helped you guys out as well. Like I said, something big is coming very soon. So there's going to be a bit of a transition on my YouTube channel, but I can't wait to share this new journey that's about to come into my life with you guys. Have a great day make sure you take care of yourselves as well very important that you do that and i'm sending you guys lots of love i'll see you in my next video guys bye